So guys, Microsoft launched Windows 11 Moment 3 update in a stable version and I will tell you how you can download or install and what new features are coming in this update. So just open your Windows setting and go to Windows update and here you need to turn on this setting like get latest update and after that you need to check for update and you will get here this kind of update like cumulative update for Windows 11 version 2 to H2 and make sure you are getting this update like KB 50 26 4 4 6 right. So basically this is how you can download or install. After installing let's see what new features you are getting in this and how you can use them okay so first thing they improved like widgets on taskbar so whenever you hover on it and you can see the little animation on your widgets icon as you can see it totally depends upon your icon right like let me change the weather here so as you can see i change the weather and you can see the animation of this icon this looks cool right second feature is also related to taskbar go to taskbar setting just go to taskbar behavior and now you will see option like show seconds in system tray clock so this will use more power if you have laptop i would not recommend to do this but if you have pc you can just set it depends upon you you want this feature or not another thing is also related to taskbar like they added a touch keyboard here so when no keyboard is attached this will not show and always then you can see here this touch keyboard so just set it like when no keyboard attached so it will automatically popped up here click here always and you can see like this another feature is also related to taskbar like uh, whenever you connect your vpn so you will see here shield icon on your connection right in image you can see here and they also adding the widget improvement like uh, you can just uh, click on add widget so you will get here this kind of view you can just preview how this is going to look on your system another feature they added in windows setting in update section so as you can see get the latest update as soon as they are available so whenever you turn it on so as you can see be among the first to get the latest non-security updates fixes and improvements as they are rolled out whenever you turn it on you will get these update early right they also updating the notification like whenever you get here two-factor authentication code in your uh, mail you will get the notification and you can copy that code from notification itself so this is a good improvement another update they are adding bing icon in the search you will see here bing icon in search so you can directly click on that and you will directly navigate to microsoft edge bing another feature they added like uh, this update adds live caption to following language so these these languages are added here if you are using live caption another thing they updated the voice access command page so you can just open this voice access this improved a lot more and some other languages also added so just go to here help and view all commands so you can see here like uh, what you need to ask and how to use it so like voice access wake up so basically you need to learn how to use it so all the commands here so you can learn it from here if you are using it another update related to your file explorer so like uh, you open your file explorer you can click here menu key it will show you context menu and the corresponding letter can open that setting right so like i can press v to it will navigate to this and if i press x so it will set my icon to large so just press x so it set my icon to large so this is a great improvement in file explorer so another update is like they improved the search experience of windows setting you can search very fast in windows setting another feature they adding is like if you have usb4 devices so you can see the complete setting page for that so this page will help you to try troubleshoot if you have any problem with your ESP4 devices. This update adds a present sensor privacy settings. In settings, go into privacy security and present sensing. If you have a device that is compatible with present sensors, you can now choose the app that can access these sensors and you can also choose the apps that do not have access. And this update contains so many bug fixes and improvements. As you can see, lots of problems fixed and improved here. So I'm not going to read each and every point. So this is just time based. So basically what you need to do is just go and update your system and that's it so okay guys these are the some features and improvement in this update i hope you liked it so just like the video and go and install it